continuing with our preliminary video casts, we're going to take a very brief look at product and period costs. The distinction between product costs and period costs is really one of the most important decisions that a practicing managerial accountant must make. The gap cost model, in other words, the model that we use for preparing financial statements, requires that costs be either product costs or period costs. This, of course, is due to the requirement for matching. Now, product costs really are all those costs that are directly related to the manufacture of the company's goods and services. These costs are assigned to work in process, then they go into finished goods and eventually get expensed as cost of goods sold. Examples would be direct labor, direct materials, manufacturing overhead, etc. On the other hand, period costs are pretty much all other costs. These costs get expensed directly to the income statement as future benefits expire. So here's an example. So here we have a list of various types of costs for a company. And we're going to take a look at these costs and see how we would classify them either as product costs or period costs. It's pretty important that you develop a good feel for how this is done. So looking at number one, the purchase of raw materials, well the purchase in and of itself doesn't really make something either a product cost or a period cost. It turns out that the really important factor is how a cost is used. So we'll put that one aside for a second. Number two, labor used to manufacture 100 widgets. Well, the key here is that it's direct labor used in the manufacturing process, so that makes it a product cost. Depreciation on widget tooling, once again, the idea is, is the cost related to the manufacturing process or to, to another activity of the firm? And as long as it's part of the manufacturing process, then the tooling is going to be assigned to product costs. Utilities, now often utilities are for common resources, say a building, so they have to oftentimes be apportioned. Some portion will be assigned to products, uh, the remainder assigned to period costs. Marketing costs, almost by definition, are not manufacturing costs, so they're period costs. Direct materials, in other words, here now we see the materials are actually used in the manufacturing process, so that makes that a product cost. And the cost of management, and once again, this is a cost that can be divided between that related to manufacturing and that related to other activities of the firm.